guys and welcome to another episode of Riding the Reaper. Uh, this is the uh, basically an episode two uh, of one. The first one being uh, the what I dislike or what I hate about the Mustang. Five things, and this is basically five things that I love about my Mustang. So uh, yeah, let's kick it off. Okay, so number one is the boot space. So this is very dark right now, but I'm gonna try and color. Coded. Um, as you can see, the boot space is uh, pretty big for a coupe. Um, it's got a lot of boot space that goes right to the back over there, as you can see the back seats. Um, and this has got a lot of room. Uh, I daily the car, and basically, it's got enough boot space for your groceries and if you want to, um, you know, take it around town and those kinds of things. And also, uh, yeah, basically all your equipment like recording equipment and stuff goes in here like we do and basically you can fit an entire body in here um yeah so an entire person can pop right in so as you can see ginger ninja oh, yes. <laughs> and he's quite tall he's taller than what i am and he is in uh, yeah he can fit which brings me to number two and number two is the tail lights so you can see there are really really cool i really like them um i think that they're pretty awesome because this is the first time mustang actually went out and did them horizontally instead of vertically and i think it works with the car um they changed it the following year to vertical once again uh, but i think it came out really really nice on this car i think it suits it it gives it a badass look i really like it um i was gonna swap them out for the LED uh, vertical backlights, but I think these worked out really, really cool on the car. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to tint these so that they go a bit darker, that they go with the black of the car, which will be pretty freaking awesome. But yeah, I really like them. They're very, they're really, uh, how can I say, different uh, in terms of a Mustang look. So yeah, that's number two. I really, really like them. Number three is the sound of this car. Um, basically, it comes out with, as you can see down here, a single pipe exhaust and the thing looks really shitty. I don't know if they changed the tip or anything because I got the car like this. And uh, yeah, just a single exhaust that I'm definitely going to be changing out. But um, I must say for a V6 and for the single exhaust pipe, this thing sounds pretty mean. So I'm just going to start it up for you guys. And then you can hear what it sounds like. So yeah, I really like the sound of it being a single exhaust and a V6. It's really, really good. So that was number three. Okay, so number four will definitely be the styling of the car. I know this was not everyone's favorite when they originally released in 94 after the Fox body, but this is exactly what happened with the Fox body. When the Fox body came out, everyone pretty much hated the car and um it grew on them after a while everyone was in love with the fox bodies because the fox bodies actually became pretty good drift and drag cars and it was a huge um popularity amongst the fox bodies they even uh, basically they were a really good platform to be used for um basically anything drift drag track and um you're seeing a lot of these being turned into drift cars because this rear end just likes to shoot out and um, the styling of the car is really, really awesome, I think. I like the non-functional vents. Um, they just give it a sporty-ass look to the car. The styling, I mean, uh, it's very much rounded, I would say. Lots of people compare the styling to the uh, Supra. They're basically saying that this is the American Supra in terms of styling, not performance, because I know everyone's going to blow up the comp uh, comment section saying that this thing's not near anywhere super with the 2jz of course it was the 2jz was a fucking god of an engine so yeah but i would say the styling's pretty nice um except for that huge ass vent because of this high ride suspension that this thing came out with but i would say the looks are pretty pretty decent for being a 95 with the rounded looks 
see all these little vents here and these kinds of things very 90s it has this it had this huge 90s aerial that which i changed out but for me i would say the styling is pretty awesome they, they even kept this dash all the way through from uh when this car released right up to uh 2013 i would say yeah, 2013 when the newer mustang was released so this interior has been right through from 1994 all the way through to 2004 so for 10 years 2014 sorry for 10 years this interior has been in these cars with little slight changes here and there but yeah that's number four okay so for number five is the aftermarket of uh, this specific car uh, being a 1995 it's had 20 odd years uh, basically to uh, develop an aftermarket uh, these things have got a huge aftermarket um, being anything from performance parts uh, for the V8 and V6 right through to uh, exterior mods, uh, bumpers, uh, tires, specially designed wheels for the Mustang, um, interiors, bucket seats, you can redesign this entire dash if you'd like. Um, I mean, you can re redesign the uh, dash cluster, you can change the carpet, you can change the roof. I mean, if you go and look at any single uh, part manufacturer or uh, aftermarket shop like CJ Pony Parts, uh, big ups to them because I've just ordered parts from them and they are really good uh, distributors. They are super awesome. Their service is on point and uh yeah i'm I basically just ordered some parts through them and they, the part should be arriving soon i'm trying to fix up this transmission so i got a service kit for it and a performance valve body trying to fix up this damn transmission i also ordered a couple of goodies and small maintenance parts from them but i must say the the shipping prices and uh the the massive discounts that you get on their price uh, on their products is is insane um, compared to other um, markets out there. Uh, I would really love to order from Alimar, but they don't ship to South Africa. I used to order from American Muscle. The uh, American Muscle stopped shipping to South Africa. So right now I'm stuck with CJ Pony Parts, but uh, I can't complain. I really can't complain about them. Uh, they're really good with their service and their parts are uh, pretty awesome and their deals are awesome the rpm club is awesome so i have no complaints uh getting anything from uh cj pony parts i must say a huge shout out to to cj pony parts um yeah you guys are just amazing really good service and so forth um i mean i chatted to you guys uh online on your online chatting and uh you answered my questions like that it was it was really good service um yeah so i must say the aftermarket for these vehicles are pretty insane uh like i said you can change pretty much anything performance parts i mean you can even strap twin turbos on this thing you can slap uh supercharger uh i mean anything the v8 or the v6 I mean, I'm definitely going the Pro Charger route on this car once the, the car is basically all set up. Um, and this is the V6, so I mean, you got parts for either of the models, the V6 or the V8. And yeah, I must say guys, this uh, aftermarket for this vehicle is insane. You can get every single OEM part for this vehicle. You can get anything that needs to be replaced, you can get it. That's you can rebuild this car from the ground up if you'd like that's how many stuff you can get basically online for this vehicle um it's insane uh i'm really looking forward to progressing the vehicle with uh with different kinds of parts and uh exterior and interior mods like i said before everything's going to be swapped out on this car front bumper back bumper hood uh, steering wheel, the seats is definitely going to change, the dash cluster, um, which will probably be one of the new episodes because um, I've just ordered that from CJ Pony Bot. Uh, I'm doing the 10.5 inch touchscreen display uh, that's going in the car, so that's going to be awesome. It's going to modernize the entire uh, setup in here. So you're going to have your Bluetooth, your internet capabilities, your GPS. So it's really going to modernize the car and that's going to be awesome because right now it's very boring in here um it's kept it very standard so yeah it's 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 okay for now it will get better 
Uh, I'm putting in the BNM ratchet shifter as well. So the BNM ratchet shifter basically makes you it's it's a sequential shifter so it lets you change gears yourself instead of waiting for the uh, automatic gearbox to choose the gears itself so which is pretty awesome for track racing and you know when you're on the street just wanting to uh, go through some gears instead of because right now it's, she's the automatic so there's no clutch you can't uh, you know slam the gears as you would in a clutch car or a manual car um, but yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. We're having the squinchill gearbox in so that you can just uh, Switch through, through some gears with the BNM ratchet shifter and that's definitely coming as well um, Then gets, she's gonna get a ducktail spoiler and uh, Side pipe exhaust. She's gonna get a new gauge cluster for the boost when the when the uh, the vortex supercharger or the procharger comes in and uh, yeah, that's basically all the plans that I got for her right now. So there's a, a lot of money gonna be going into her. really. Okay, that's good. Golf. So now it's a golf. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna do uh, a couple of more things to her. Uh, so you see what a huge aftermarket there is for the car just those things alone is everything that you can get I mean you can scroll through pages upon pages in uh, Alimar or in CJ Pony Parts or in American Muscle and just see how many for the 1994 to 1998 um, how many because that's 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 basically this sn 90 95 shape and then from 1999 the new age came in so the new age uh the interior is basically the same like i said they kept it for 10 years but the exterior is where the changes up a bit they got the more squarish look the more 2000s early 2000s look um where the uh sn 95 is the more 90s look so it's more rounded um so the part the exterior parts will change there um, yeah, so that's that's basically the aftermarket and that's number five. So yeah, like I said, uh, those are the five things that I love about the Mustang. Um, besides, like I said, the previous video, the things I hate about it. But the five things I love, let's just go through them one more time. It is the boot space. It is those backlights that are something that only this Mustang has the 90, I think it's the 94, 95. That is the sound that it came out with. I mean, uh, it's just such an awesome sound coming from a, a, a normal single pipe um, V6 and then number four is basically the styling of the 90s style I'm a 90s baby so this is the 90s style that I like so much and then with number four the style number five is the aftermarket so there's a huge aftermarket for these for these cars uh, right through from 94 all the way through to the uh, newer Mustangs Okay, someone, the golf. someone wants to perform. Anyway, yeah. Should I start up and embarrass him? I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then um, I just want to inform you guys, you are looking at a new brand ambassador for uh, the Great North. Now, the Great North is a Canadian eco-based company that basically are doing apparel which is uh, hoodie anything from your hoodies crew necks um tank tops anything go give them a look i'm going to drop the description down below to their website and to the instagram page and also i'm going to be popping right up here uh, my promo code that you can use to get 30 percent off anything you purchase so that's 30 percent off and uh this stuff is reasonably cheap i mean it's not expensive that is for a good cause as well the any any proceeds that 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 go from buying their apparel 10 percent of that goes towards three different companies that save the environment the one is the polar bear um, association two is canada trees that help save the environment and uh the the, the forests out there in canada and number three uh, being the uh, ocean cleanup association as well and they are pretty big they worldwide they are cleaning up our oceans and helping save the environment at the same time and these are really big companies um and this i mean without them we wouldn't have um, clean oceans and uh, trying to save the trees for the animals and, and those kinds of things so you're gonna be buying awesome clothing to support a very awesome cause and you're getting 30% off so use my promo code up here uh, and go and check out their apparel and uh, even if you guys just buy a t-shirt I mean it'll mean a lot to not only me 
but also to, to help save the environment and all those little critters out there um, and saving their homes. Um, so yeah, I'm very cool. Uh, it's very cool to be associated. I'm very happy to be associated with this company and uh, for them to have contacted me and asked them to be a brand ambassador for their brand. So I'm really amped and I'm really, really um, excited for the things to come. So yeah, go check them out. Dropping their their description or oh, their their link to the in the description at the bottom to the their website, so you can check out their shirt and uh, the uh, Instagram page as well. So yeah, guys, definitely go check them out. They're really cool. They got really cool clothing. I'm waiting. I'm I'm gonna purchase mine now and then. I'll probably get it because they are Canada based. So I'll probably wait a while before I get my stuff. But um, yeah, they are really, really awesome. Go check them out. I'm really looking forward to getting a vest because you, as you can see in most of my videos, I'm, I'm a vest man. I love my vests and also a hoodie for the winter. Um, I love their logo, their, their, their huge logo. It's like this huge logo with the trees and the mountains and the uh, little polar bear at the bottom. So yeah, it's really awesome. I can't wait to uh, rock their apparel and uh, just promote this brand. Um, I have reached out to a couple of energy drink um, brands as well, uh, being Dragon and Switch. Uh, Monster's really worldwide, so I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't even try Monster. I don't know how. Yeah, how I'll get in there. If you guys are watching, please, Monster. It'll be great to be sponsored by you guys, or even be a brand ambassador for you guys, because I love me energy drinks. But I'm waiting for waiting to hear back from Dragon and Switch. Uh, hopefully they get back to me because it's been about a week now that I've reached out to them and just see because I would love to um, maybe even at a later stage when this YouTube channel picks up and when when this thing starts going big, um, maybe even design my own energy drink. I mean, I would love to design a um, Switch or a Dragon that has. Uh, riding the Reaper on it and maybe a sour cherry, sour black cherry uh, sticking with the black theme and the dark theme which will be really fucking awesome. So hopefully they get back to me on that and that'll be really great. Uh, yeah, we'll see where, where it takes us. It's, it's really going to be awesome. I can't wait um, to see where this whole thing goes. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Five things I love about my Mustang. And I uh, hope to see you in the next one. The next one, we're probably going to be trying to fix up this transmission. And uh, yo, this little uh, gauge cluster that I bought for the car, that's really going to uh, amp up its look on the inside. Because I, I did, haven't been paying much attention to the interior of the car. So uh, I, it was on special at CJ Pony Parts with their huge 70% sale that's not on. Um, so yeah, go check that out as well if you're importing anything for... Um, Mustangs or anything American related, American car related, um, go check them out. They're really good. Their um, import fees and stuff was really awesome as well. So, yeah, go check them out. Anyway, guys, this is uh, Riding the Reaper out. Peace.